max. So go ahead, guys. So Vlad, talk about your swims tonight. Those seem to be just like out of body experiences going 17, 8, 40.6. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was really pumped up for the relay. Uh, so you guys went out real quick. I don't think I've ever had a race like this before, at least on the relay. So in, that was a really great experience. In general, how do you like to approach the, the sprint freestyle events? Uh, really different. Kind of. I don't have a set technique, strategy, whatever, but it's really different every time. You said you've never had a race like that. What do you mean? Well, that fast. <laughs> no one has fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just really pumped up. I did everything well. It's like I felt like I saw myself kind of swim from both myself, you know, kind of did everything perfect. The race could have gotten any better than that. Do you get a tempo on your stroke at all? Because when I saw it, I mean, it's just unbelievable how fast you get those arms moving. Yeah, actually, I've been working this last year on trying to slow it down because sometimes it kind of try and go too fast and raise my tempo too high. So I just like kind of beat the water down and don't move anywhere. So I tried to actually slow it down a little bit. How were you with that 50 time flat start? 18.63, was that around what you were hoping for? Well, I was hoping to break the record, but I'm still happy with the time. Uh, it's around best textile, style, I think. But my turn wasn't that great because I started out about 10, two tenths faster than I usually do. So. The turn was kind of awkward. I got into the wall too close, so but I bounced out the wall well, finished well, so I was still happy with it. Talk about the, the strategy for the relay. You going third in that 200 free relay. I mean, was that the strategy all along? You go third instead of maybe last or even first? That's how we did it back 12s and it worked well. But actually, I came up today before the race and I wanted to go second because I got a lot of froth water in the first 25. So I think it would have been a little better than going third. Pretty crazy to think you gone, gone, could have gone faster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could have gone faster, but the guy that went second, I think he could have got in clean water too, so it would have helped him as well. So as soon as you flip your turn on the 50, um, what is going through your head on that last home stretch? Mm, <laughs> nothing really. <laughs> Just kind of blank. Just get your hand on the wall. Yeah. You know, I think on Twitter you said you used the first time you've shaved down for a collegiate meet in two years? Yeah, last time was my freshman year at NCTAs. And how are you feeling in the water? Like really above it? Are you just with it or don't feel it at all? Definitely I'll try to get above the water. Yeah, that's, I would say, one of the talents that I have. What went into that decision to shave? Because about a month and a half ago you weren't sure if you were going to shave for this one. Yeah, uh, I was thinking about it a lot, but then I went to Europeans and to World Championships and they were about two, three weeks apart as well. And I shaved for Europeans and World Championships and I did really well at both. So, And I had to do the same thing at World University Games and World Championships. So I thought why not do the same thing again. Is there any way to be disappointed in a 40-point mid-100 split? Uh, to tell the truth, I was really dead. Just before the race, I wasn't feeling it, but I'm not really disappointed, no. I mean, I got one more shot at it, two more shots. So you are going for that sub-40 split on that relay? Oh, definitely, yeah. Today was my hardest day. I had the most races, so tomorrow, the day after, it'll be a little easier. Thanks a lot. Congrats, right. man. Thank you.